What's up guys? As I go through and delete all my error messages, Big Clive 34 coming at you today with another episode of Cars and Clive, the antidote for your automotive hangover, coming to you every Monday at 4 Eastern time. And when I say every Monday, I, I mean most of the Mondays. As you guys can see, it's either Wednesday or Thursday by the time you are viewing this video, or at least by the time it was uploaded. Uh, you know, this weekend was crazy for me. Uh, no sleep, lots of filming, lots of stuff going on. I would have had Cars and Clive out on Monday, but we actually collaborated with Street Speed 717 and Guitar Mageddon ZL1. So I wanted to get that to you guys as soon as possible. Go check that out on the channel. Would have had it up Tuesday, but we had a microphone failure. The microphone on my camera stopped working in the, this lab mic that I'm now working with that you probably just got uh, you know overloaded because I touched it it, it just didn't work at all for me so I think we have the setup right and ready to go and it's just so many things to work out with sound and video and stuff like that so hopefully this comes to you guys crisp and clear because I know some people were complaining rightfully so about the audio because the car does get a little bit loud at times today we're gonna be talking about the top five cars not necessarily even project cars top five cars that you can get yourself into for under ten thousand dollars if your goal is to go fast because let's be honest we all want to go fast all jokes aside though this is kind of like my list i know i'm going to get a lot of comments like talking about how retarded i am because I, I am a little bit but that's besides the point i know everybody has their own opinion and i value your guys opinions so leave your comments below with what cars you think i missed or what cars you would have on this list so this week without further ado here goes my top five project cars or just cars in general that you might want to get yourself into well then i would want to get myself into if i had ten thousand dollars sitting in my bank account and i wanted to go fast straight on to number five it was kind of like really a toss-up because there are there's a lot of cars that i would want i kind of had more of a top four for number five i'll just tell you guys what i was like batting around the idea of throwing in there uh, the idea of a, a like a, a Silverado or a full-size pickup would be incredibly cool to have for a project truck but because the idea around this list is going fast and trust me you can go fast in those things for not a ton of money but they also weigh a lot so they need to make like a ton of power something like a, a Nissan 240 or something you could put in, uh, whatever motor you want in for, for me obviously it would be an LS um, you know there's like maybe a G-body, something like that. But for number five, I didn't really have a solid answer. So cars like that kind of fit in a number five category. And where it starts getting really solid is number four. For number four, I would pick a Chevrolet S10. You could also swap this out with a Ford Ranger. Uh, these things, you know, there's tons of them. They're super cheap. People don't use them as much as some of the other cars you see out there. So you'll be, I mean, I know there's a lot of them, but you'll be a little, you'll have a little bit more of that rarity factor. So there's also a big aftermarket backing these things up. You can literally put whatever motor and trans combo you want in one of them because the parts for these things are just everywhere. That is what makes them fit in at number four on this list. For number three, let's keep in mind, these were, these were tough decisions to make. Number three is the F-body in any way, shape, or form, meaning pretty much any Camaro. I think that all Camaros are F-bodies. From second gen mostly to fourth gen Camaros, you can get into any one of these cars for under 10 grand, well under 10 grand, and make them as fast as you want because either the parts are out there to put whatever motor you want in them or they already have an LS. Ideally, if you want to get in something right away and go fast uh, with already a good motor and trans combo, uh, the 4L60s and the newer uh, 98 to 02 uh, F bodies, being a Camaro or a Firebird uh, Trans Am, they are. The automatics are iffy and the rear ends are iffy, but again, uh, you already have LS power. You can put a decent amount of power through a stock LS1 and still go fast. The T56, if you're a fan of manual, is a great trans. There's a T56 in this car and they can hold a decent amount of power. So either way, any F body is a good place to start if you wanna go drag racing. That would be number three on my list. 
Number two on this list comes in the form of, this is gonna be a stretch, and I know a lot of people are gonna have a problem with this one. Number two would be the C5 Corvette. Being a base model, probably won't get a Z06 for, oh wow, is this a crane that fell over? I know what's going on. I'm driving through a construction zone right now. That's confusing me. Uh, but yes, the C5 Corvette, uh, they call it a coupe. It shares a lot of the same characteristics that I spoke about on the F-Body, meaning you can get, it comes with an LS1, uh, which you can make really good power through. We have that 50-50 weight balance that a lot of people seem to like for some reason, uh, you know, with the, the transaxle. Um, you know, there's, there's, they're on the border. Uh, back when I got my C5, I paid $9,700, I think, for it. And that was for a 2000, uh, like three years ago, with 115,000 miles on it. You can just beat all these things. And again, like with the other cars on this list, I guess all the cars on this list kind of share this in that they, uh, they kind of have a super aftermarket. Uh, the Corvette parts are gonna be a touch more expensive, as you'll hear people talk about a uh, Corvette tax. Uh, meaning that the same parts cost more because, you know, it's a Corvette. But, I mean, I still think it's very manageable. Can I get a drum roll, please? That's right, number one on this list. I, I like, if you have been around the world of cars at all, you know exactly where number one on this list is going to be. Of course, it is the Fox Body Ford Mustang. Now, why is the Fox Body number one? Well, any brand, like, people get really irate when you swap other motors into a Fox body for some reason, which I'm not really sure why, but you can put any motor you want in one of these things for probably the cheapest of any car out there. You can put a Ford, uh, a Chevy, uh, I've seen Toyota motors in these things, uh, 2JZ powered Fox body that I saw that was really clean. Uh, like, the small blocks, whatever you want to do. You could probably even put a cylinder in it of, of your choice if you want to do like a dsm or something like that i'm sure that shit has all been done because the fox body is hands down if you ask anybody who knows what they're talking about it's not even close uh about the amount of stuff that you can do to these cars the amount of different combinations you can do without even breaking the bank or spending a ton of money the the aftermarket for these cars is second to none unparalleled you will not find another car like the fox body in terms of being able to modify it on a dime it's just, it's crazy. All right, guys, so those are the candidates for my top five, well, top four and some random picks of what I would buy right now if someone dropped $10,000 in my lap. Oh, yeah, by the way, sponsors, that's a shout-out to you. If you want to give me $10,000 to build a car, I will put your name all over that shit. So let me know what you think of the list down below in our comments. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I uh, appreciate you commenting on what you want to see me talk about next because this show only goes round and round because of your ideas. So thanks for that. Uh, if you're new here, remember to subscribe. It's normally going down on Monday. Today it's Wednesday or Thursday or whenever I got this up because there's a lot going on this week. Shit happens. But anyways, that's about all I have for this week's episode of Cars and Clive. I thank you so much for watching. If you're new, remember to stop by at that subscribe button. I truly appreciate it. Love you guys. See you next week. So I park out in the back of the parking lot. There was nobody around me. Nobody. There's so many possible spots. But Mr. 97 Kids and his goddamn Toyota minivan had to park right next to me. So this is how you have to park.